The Importance of Working with Your Lawyer Effectively and How to Do It by Braxton Montier, Legal Assistant. I have noticed three chronic problems with clients in just the few weeks I've been working as a legal assistant. One, most clients seem to have an almost allergic reaction to providing required information to the court and to the opposing party and even filling out documents required by the court. It does not merely surprise me how hard it is to get required information out of most clients. It's shocking and demoralizing. It doesn't seem to matter what information is required, how long or how short the document they have to fill out is. It doesn't seem to matter whether they are the respondent or the petitioner in the case. Number two, most clients seem to have a blind spot for deadlines. They could be reminded weeks, even months in advance of a looming deadline, and then reminded every week, and then reminded every other day, then reminded every day, and then multiple times a day, and still act surprised when we chew them out in the 11th hour for having little to nothing done and shooting themselves in the foot as a result. We, got, we get that a divorce case is gut-wrenching. We understand that it's discouraging, even terrifying, to deal with the allegations and the costs. We understand the all-too-human desire to bury your head in the sand and hope in vain that it will all just go away. We understand why the temptation to procrastinate is so strong, which is why you need to do the work in full and on time. Avoidance will only make things harder, will only make things worse. Number three, many clients provide false and or incomplete information to the court and to the opposing party in the course of a divorce case. Whether they outright lie or are simply being careless, the consequence is the same. Credibility is damaged, often irreparably, and the case is weakened, sometimes irreparably. The more honest and completely forthcoming you are, the stronger your armor is in the litigation battle. Truth be told, lying and deception can result in some big wins sometimes, but lying and deception are wrong. And despite their general reputation for playing fast and loose with the truth, there are some lawyers out there who take their oaths to be honest and just seriously. If being morally upstanding isn't enough to inspire you to be honest, frankly, the risks of lying and deception aren't worth the consequences if you're caught. And most liars get caught. It's amazing how often clients get in legal trouble over the course of their divorce proceedings. They've been stand-up and law-abiding citizens their whole lives up to that point. But then, they miraculously are accused of domestic violence, stalking, substance abuse, tax evasion, DUI, child molestation, etc. Now, clearly there is a difference between committing a crime and being falsely accused of a crime by a spouse who is trying to use the false allegations as leverage in the divorce action. But it is surprising how often divorce causes good people to snap whether they end up in jail or picking up trash along the interstate to work off their community service hours, or passed out on the floor, drunk or high or both. Many good people are pushed over the edge by divorce. Remember that when a divorce case is filed, you may find yourself reaching your breaking point. Be prepared, swallow your pride, keep your judgment clear. Don't be afraid to find the occasional listening ear or shoulder to cry on. Find safe and non-incriminating ways to deal with the despair, fear, anger, and anxiety by spending time with family and friends, fellow church members, or, if need be, a good, and a good, not just any, counselor or therapist. The reason someone retains the services of an attorney in a divorce case is to get the help they need to do what they cannot and should not do themselves in the divorce case. A good lawyer is a good value, but the best lawyer in the world is not a wizard. Your lawyer shouldn't be spending his time and your money saving you from yourself. 
do yourself a favor and keep this in mind and avoid the chronic missteps I see clients engage in far too often. Thank you.